Problem number 20. The angle of the pendulum is theta of t equal 0.1 radians times cosine of 5t plus pi, where t is in seconds. You have to determine amplitude, frequency, phase constant, length of the spring, initial angle, and angle and the t equal to seconds. From the comparison of this equation with the general equation, theta of t is amplitude times cosine omega t plus pi, you will immediately have that your amplitude equal 0 0.1 radians. You answered on the first question. Now, second question, you need to find f. You know that your f is connected to the omega as omega divided by 2 pi. You are given your omega, it's 5, 1 over second. So you will have 5 over 2 pi, 1 over second. And you did solve that for the frequency. Now phase constant or initial constant from our formula we have equal to pi. Now how to find the length of the spring? This is a little bit more difficult but still very very easy. What do you have to do? You have to use your condition for the omega. Omega is equal, if you remember, it will be g divided by l, length of the spring. So, we have that our 5, 1 over second, equals square root of 9.8 meter per second square divided by the length of the spring l. And from here you can find the length of the spring. If you square both sides, you will have 25, 1 over the second square, equal 9.8 meter per second square times 1 over L. So your L will be equal 9.8 meter over the second square divided by 25, 1 over the second square, or 9.8 divided by 25 meters. So we did solve item D. Now, initial angle. You will find your initial angle if you put t is equal to 0 in your equation. You will have 0.1 radians times cosine of 5 times 0 second plus pi. Multiplication by 0 does give you 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1, so you will have minus 0 0.1 radians. This is your initial angle. And to find angle, at t is equal to seconds, you just have to put two seconds in your original equation. Theta at two seconds will be equal 0.1 radians times cosine 5 times 2 seconds plus pi. So you have to do calculations with the help of the calculator and you will find your angle at the second second. We solved the problem.